Hey everyone, today's video is our kitchen renovation. This clip here is showing before the renovation what the kitchen had looked like. It was split between a really small kitchen and a dining room. The house did not come with a refrigerator and it didn't fit in that area, so that's why it's in the dining room. We also have the stove and the dishwasher that was put in recently. Um, they were not the appliances that came with the house. So the objective for this kitchen was to just create a full-size kitchen. I did not mind not having a formal dining room. And so I wanted to have kind of a breakfast bar, a coffee bar, and just like a small island. So the first wall that we started working on was this fridge wall because we believe that it was going to be the easiest wall to take down. And although Chris is making it look really easy, this was supposed to be repurposed cabinets, but because the nails were so hidden and so difficult to be taken out, we had to kind of destroy the cabinets in order to take it down because they couldn't stay either way. The fridge was too wide i believe it was either too wide or too tall and it didn't fit in that section now the board that i'm showing here is kind of what we used for the countertops they have this cool interlocking wood pattern throughout so i thought it would show up nice when it was stained i went through so much when it was stained but i'm just showing here that some holes still had to be filled in so i used some wood filler and I went ahead and filled some of those holes. Going back to the stain, the stain that I wanted for the countertops was kind of like this chestnut look and I couldn't find that color. It would either show up too red or it would show up too yellow and just kind of not in between of that really light brown. And so you'll see here that we ended up going with an extremely pigmented espresso bean brown color. Now everything we made was from scratch because the dimensions that I had planned out were so custom that we could have went the easy route and just bought pre-made cabinets. I just wanted to maximize the space because the kitchen dining room was already so small that I just wanted everything to be customly made so that it looked a little bit bigger. In this clip I'm just showing pretty much the breakfast bar that was going to be made and the design that I made here I found on Pinterest but I ended up not going with that design in the end and you'll see later in the video when I change it up. It was a nice design but it just kind of looked too busy and then I just went for more of a modern look. So I ended up just covering it up anyway. I know it's pretty silly. Chris was just showing that the animals kept coming into the kitchen even though we put like a temporary fence up to try and keep them out. Right now Chris is working on the non low bearing wall.
Chris is back under the sink. Now he's installing the new piping for the sink before he was taking the old one out. He needed to do a couple more things by hooking up the faucet. The dishwasher is being hooked on to this S-trap piping as well as the glass rinser. And right here we're just showing that the water is working. We were so happy and all these little moments when you know you take something apart and you put it back together and then it works successfully it turns on and so here's just showing when the water was first turned on I think I changed the setting right about now and then we'll be also showing the glass rinser as well right next to the stove which makes the stove very snug next to the sink it was completely unplanned and we could not move those wires those were the only wires that like absolutely could not be moved because they ran from all the way on the top of the house straight down to the bottom of the house and we were not going to move them and so we had to kind of figure out a way to make it exist still and so we just kind of made a pillar around it and it worked out we were going to have an island and it was going to be horizontal and then we had it vertical due to the pillar and it all worked out I honestly think that having the island run off of the stove worked out better than if we were to just place it in the middle
was my problem with this wall. This wall, when you look at it, it looks gray. But then if you look at it, if you were in person and you looked at it, it looked a little purple. And I knew it looked purple because when I have looked at the other room, which was like a pottery blue kind of color, you can kind of see that it had a purple undertone. So I had put this, what looks close to white, but is actually the really light gray that I wanted. And you can kind of see for a second there, I think it's wet paint, but you can see for a second there that it kind of matched the flow into the other room. It's just an accent wall, but I was really going for a light gray. So the next slide that is coming up is going to show the pattern that I ended up covering up. And it's just because I had this pattern going throughout the kitchen and I didn't want it to be the only pattern that was, like I said earlier, too busy and stood out right there with the coffee bar. And so I went ahead and gave it that block framing that was throughout the kitchen because I just really wanted everything to look like it was done at the same time by one person. So why not keep the theme the same here I'm showing that I did a triangle pattern for the coffee mugs to hang and this is going on top of the coffee bar the other one that went right above the breakfast bar was just two rows of hooks that were parallel and so here I am showing how easy it was to kind of install these hooks. All you had to do was kind of make an indentation of where you wanted the hooks to go and then twist them on. It got a little harder toward the end, but that just means that your cups that you hang or whatever you're hanging, it's probably not gonna fall. A lot of these supplies, including these hooks, were found at Walmart. I think I got most of the additional small things here and there from Walmart and the rest from Lowe's and then here I'm showing the tile that we had picked out as I said in the past videos there is a blue theme that is going through our house and it actually reminded me a little bit of the brick so I was happy that we picked it out and the reason is because the house the owner's previous both of them had kind of incorporated blue and we seen that from the photos. There was one from the previous owner and then one from the owner before then. And believe it or not, the entire house had blue carpet. And there's just blue everywhere in those old photos. So we wanted to just kind of keep the theme of the blue, but make it a lot more modern. And honestly, I like the color. It's not too crazy. It's not red. It's not purple. It's a very calm color. So I thought it looked nice throughout the house. So now we're working on the last touches of this kitchen. There was definitely some things that I am now realizing as I'm editing the video here that I forgot to record, such as the flooring or the lighting and it's it's me now editing the video and there's no going back i'm not even sure if i recorded it at all or if it's just somewhere lost in the several clips taken and this is a splatter on the window from i think there was a mosquito near my face and then i try to swat it away and then this happens so i had bought a goo gone paint remover and the scraper for glass it's a glass scraper and i'm going to tell you now you probably could have just used either water or i think on the second window i used Windex and it works just as well. Just a little bit of liquid really helps and the scraper does most of the job. It does not damage the window and that is a really good tip I would say for people who have a bunch of windows that I'm not even going to say this is old fashioned but a bunch of windows that have these crosses throughout the door or window. If I could pick what I would prefer I would definitely not want the little crosses 
on the window. They're too difficult to clean because you got to clean each square and then the little cross gets dusty. You want a window that is nice and open and you can clean it and then that is that. And so this is the one that I used Windex on and it worked perfectly fine. You're going to see the after. I think now we're getting to the end of the video where you'll be seeing the before and after. Now who would have thought these two small rooms would have been such a big renovation. I'm so happy that we opened it up. We've been using the kitchen now for like over a month and a half with it being finished and it just needed a final touch and then the video put out. So we set that back for no reason, but now it is finally finished. We achieved our goals. We have a little breakfast bar. We have a small island. We have a coffee bar and all in all a full-size kitchen as requested. I am so proud of Chris for doing so much of the work, the lighting, the plumbing, the flooring, everything, and honestly bringing what I draw on a paper right in front of me, brings it to life. I, I couldn't believe it. I'm so happy and I hope that you stay tuned for the next video. We will be dressing this kitchen up you know, kind of giving it some final touches and putting things where they need to go. And we will be more than likely posting some cooking videos. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you for watching our kitchen renovation. And I literally cannot end the video without saying please like and subscribe.